Hi Buns, today I'm going to teach you how to do housing glitches without mods. You can do this with controller or mouse, although mouse of course tends to be a bit easier. I'm going to walk you through three of the most common used housing glitches for all of you who got new houses this time around. You can also use this in apartment rooms or FC rooms that you purchase in your own FCs. Timestamps will be on this video so you can reference it back as many times as you would like. I of course did not make these, but there are numerous websites out there to show you how to do these. All I'm trying to do is put it in video form for you. The first one is the tabletop glitch. This works for all tabletop items for glitching them in the air to float. You can commonly see this on floating lamps, posters. Today I'll be using the caged wisp tabletop item in order to float it in the foyer of my FC house. You will need a stage panel and a Riviera shelf for this glitch. We use the stage panel because it allows more use of space on the stage panel than any other partitions, which can have weird cutoffs. Do not buy the stage panel from the market board. So many people come up on tons of gill preying on the naive. You can easily buy this from any housing vendor located in the housing districts or from the permit housing vendor located in your FC house for only 4,000 gill. You can craft the Riviera wall shelf pretty easily, or you can pick this up from the market board. It's usually pretty cheap. You will start by placing down your stage panel and you'll make sure the counter placement is enabled. I am on controller so this is left bumper plus Y and I like to have grid snap on as well for easier placement. Now you will place your Riviera wall shelf on the stage panel level with yourself. This just makes it easier to place the tabletop items. Now you will place your caged wisp on top of the shelf. If for some reason you cannot place it or it's not catching, which can happen if you've used this glitch and then try to move it, you simply can just put it back in your inventory and then replace it on the shelf and it'll work just fine. Now for the glitch. Once you have your item on your shelf, you will now disable counter placement, which for me again is left bumper plus Y. Now this is a very important part. You will click just on the tabletop item, the cage wisp, but do not move it or the glitch won't work. Once you click on it, it will look like it's moved on its own, but just deselect it by pressing right click on the mouse or B on the Xbox controller or O on the PlayStation controller. It will then place it directly back on the shelf. That part took me a few minutes to figure out visually because it looks like it moves, but when you back out of it, it places it right back on. So don't get confused by that. At this point, the tabletop item is now separate from the shelf in the wall panel. You can now click on the stage panel and move it away. And there you have it, a floating caged wisp. Now, obviously you'll have to mess around with different items and their locations to where you want them. I do not want this solo, so I'll simply redo the glitch, move the shelf up and then perform the glitch again. It is very easy when you do it the first few times. If you try and click on the item and move it, it will cancel out the glitch either way. So you must place it where you want it using the stage panel and the shelf. Here is an example of moving the cage wisp higher to make it look like a floating lamp. Also, if you're liking the video and want to support the content, then make sure to hit that like button so it can be pushed out to as many people in the Final Fantasy community as possible. Housing glitch number two is the storage glitch. With this glitch, it will allow you to place a wall, partition, and all furniture items closer to your housing walls than you would be able to normally. This glitch is technically very easy, but requires much more patience and will sometimes make you want to rage quit with the amount of time it could take. We are going to use white partitions here. I've placed down a regular partition from my inventory so you can see how far it can go into the wall normally. Now I will need to have a white partition in my storage. You must place your item from the storage and have the display preview button on in order for this to work. I also find that I struggled heavily on controller with this and really couldn't make it work as easy, but you can do this if you turn on your virtual mouse and then rotate it. I will be using mouse and keyboard for this one. This is all about angling here. So you'll need to figure out the tightest spot you can place. Now you can see that there is a difference between these two partitions. One is a little bit closer to the wall. Some may think it's not worth it, but when you're going for something really specific, especially while trying to maximize space in your house, if you have a smaller medium, then you'll be using this glitch very often. It takes a lot of time to get used to for me personally, but it is really nice for etching out those few in-game inches you may need. And this works for all furniture pieces. Now, this last housing glitch is the float anything glitch, and this is by far the hardest one that I have done. It takes a metric shit ton of patience and effort, but you will be the most satisfied once you're able to get it down. 
There are two ways to get this to work, and for the life of me, I could not get the Riviera shelf to work, but the floating loft way was easy peasy. And this is a godsend for smalls and mediums if you want extra loft space on your lower parts of your house, and basically are utilizing all the ceiling space you're not using. For this glitch, you'll need a stage panel, a piece of furniture, I'm just using a dyed couch here, and the wooden loft. You'll begin by placing your stage panel where you would like your furniture to be. I placed it along this wall in order to create a little nook here. The furniture must be along the hit box of the stage panel, so for this couch, I place it right up against the stage panel, but not cutting through it. If you are too close to the actual housing wall for this, you must take care not to place the furniture you're trying to float too close to the actual house wall, or it will not stay floated after all of your hard work. You will then need the loft in your inventory, and you simply place the loft up against the stage panel under your furniture. You will see that it can be placed and you can go about halfway up on this specific couch. Other furniture may vary where you need to place it, but I feel like this couch is pretty generous. Once you are ready to place it where you need it, you need to place it and immediately hit escape on the keyboard or back out with B or O on Xbox controller or PS4 controller. It has to be within a second or it will not catch. But once you get used to the timing, it's pretty easy to recreate quickly. Now you can raise it as high as you would like. I'm using this bookcase staircase as reference so I know where to stop. After you get it to the place you want on keyboard, you simply hit the rotate option and rotate your furniture to the left or right and then back to its original place and it will lock that furniture in place of where it's floating. Important warning, if you do not do this, then once you leave your house and come back in, you will find your furniture back on the ground, which can be heartbreaking after spending all that time getting it to float. You can also do this on controller, but it's a little bit more difficult because you have to enable your virtual mouse to access the rotate button, but you need either that or a keyboard in order to lock it into place. With practicing on couches first, as they seem to be a little bit more forgiving, you can try with other stuff. And with that, the world's your oyster. You can basically create anything you want floating furniture up so you can create a secondary loft and space in your small, medium, or large houses. I personally think a little pre-design is going to be really important here so you don't end up floating and being in the wrong place with items. You can also float multiple items at once as long as they're along the stage panel. So let's say a couch or a rug or a couch and a side table. But just to be safe, I would say do it one at a time first until you get more comfortable. These are just a few of the basic housing glitches you can find in Final Fantasy XIV, and there are more advanced ones that take far more effort to master. If you learned anything new or enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing and joining my Discord. It's the heart of my community and where I spend most of my time there with all the amazing members. I want to give a huge shout out to Ayla and Huggles in my Discord for suggesting some housing content and to all the Patreon and YouTube memberships that allow me to keep making videos such as these. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and content, then you can click here.